So guys, welcome back and this is PhoneWrench back with another video. So guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at the Samsung Galaxy S8 Oreo update. So guys, recently Samsung unveiled its new S9 in S9 Plus. And in my opinion, these smartphones are just fabulous in every department. Like for camera, they have introduced the new dual aperture, which is not available in any smartphone in the world right now. Just the Galaxy S9 Plus, not even in the S9. No, S9 it's available and uh, so yeah so let's see what's new like we do in MIUI update so you have to scroll down go to in about software updates last update information so as you can see at all what's new let me just scroll since it then so guys and mind the lines because this is an older display so as you can see in what's new section Samsung Experience 9 upgrade with Android Oreo brings a lot of and here it's not new biometrics so they have improved the like the face face scanning speed and all that stuff and the quick panel looks a more refreshed look so as you can see the notification icons are three there see how they drop in the notification panel the one the two and the three and they come back like that and that's the refinement of the notification panel and home screen Touch and hold to apps. So basically, they enabled a 3D touch on some apps. Supported. Let me see whether it is enabled on call or not. Yes, it's enabled. So as you can see, we have got two options here. Let me just zoom. Create groups and create contact. That's all, guys. See what's got for gallery. Yes. So there is like remove from home and select items and all that stuff. And let's go to camera. Okay, let me just press it. Yes, remove from home. Okay, so I'm gonna click here and now I'm gonna turn with this camera and there we go. Yes, so these are the features they added. So let's see what's next. By the way guys, mine is crack here real quick. I am going to replace that. But that costs a lot of money. I got 17,000 Indian rupees. That's a lot of money. You can get a Redmi Note 5 Pro with 6 gigabytes of RAM. But that won't be this phone please. so let's continue so the next is the Samsung keyboard so that just doesn't matter to me system performance so they have improved they said that they have improved the battery performance and uh, battery life currently running apps will always shown in like a notification panel so let me just open an app and show you so let me just open uh, wink music so as you can see the wink music is opened so i'm gonna click home so we should get an option of running app i'm not getting right now i think we have to play the music but due to copyright issues i cannot so i'm gonna lower the volume and just play so i'm gonna above it click on wink play so the music is playing and as you can see we have got an app option of focusing 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 ah. so as you can see guys there is an option of one app are running in the background that is wink music these are the apps so i can like block the notification and all the steps i'm going to click on cancel and remove that from the between so let's see what's next so the next is edge screen they have improved like the font size and all that stuff edge screen is like the guys let me just yes so this is the s8 it has got a dual edge screen as you all know so i'm gonna swipe from right here so this is the edge panel okay this is the people's edge you got you can click anyone to call them this is the reminders look at the font guys it has improved very much i guess rectangle oval it is very visible youtube and all that stuff so let's see what's next they have also improved the edge lighting i can't show you because that any only lights up when there is a notification let's see what's next lock screen and always on display they have added all new like faces for always on display and clock and all that stuff and when in the smart view i don't know what app does yes there was a bug which in which the phone screen goes dark when you use that and that is now fixed okay Samsung account, no matter, no cloud, due message. Yes. Okay, now Samsung has tried to include the feature of dual apps. 
so you can now create dual apps of messenger and facebook and all that social media apps only and let's just find my mobile you can back up your security photo folder and next is samsung dex i don't have one but i am planning to buy one because it's really cool to see okay so we can now see more apps on the screen a full screen gaming experience that was super cool and added support for two additional samsung uh, covers led view which i do have and clear view standard cover okay other improvements are bluetooth support high quality and all that stuff so guys this was the galaxy s8 update i hope you enjoy it guys let me just show you the clock faces real quick or the always on display faces so i'm gonna click back i'm gonna click here i'm gonna search here always on it takes a lot of time to search so i'm gonna search here yes so there we go we have got always on display uh, not even oh what the hell i'm gonna search here again so always on display I don't know for what reason it's not opening but it should be opened. I'm gonna go to lock screen and security. And uh, I forgot where is the always on display. But I will surely show you the next video of the review. I guess I don't I don't will be making the view. And the face unlock is also not fast guys. Look guys look. That's my face, that's the phone. Oh. Okay. It does not unlock. I guess the light is very low. So that's why let me just show you guys let me just move the camera so this is the face and this as you can see me the sunlight is coming from the window here so I'm gonna try to unlock it yes it unlocks so my all fingers are there now see it does unlock but it's having a lot of issue because due to the distance between us and the light probability so it's unlocked so I'm gonna fix you to your position guys so this was the Galaxy S's Oreo update and I will see you in the next video guys which is coming tomorrow so guys thanks for watching very much I love you guys so much and you can follow me on Instagram oh what can I tell about that I've only got two followers guys a 150 sub 160 subscribers almost and we got two followers so sad so guys if you want you can follow me or else what the hell can i do so i hope to see you in the next video and we will continue there peace out guys and i think i got one yeah and i think i got one